Welcome to the dedication of Janet K. Bartlett Elementary School. I am Sharita Smith, the principal of this beautiful and amazing campus, and it's an honor to be here with you tonight. At this time, the Conroe High School Army JROTC will present the colors. Once the colors are presented, third graders Addison Garcia and Riley Frederick will lead us in the pledges to the United States and Texas flags. Please stand for the presentation of colors and the pledges. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join us for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one indivisible. Thank you, Addison, Riley, and the Conroe High School Army JROTC Color Guard. At this time, I would like to recognize some very special guests. These people play a very important role in the establishment and development of our school. Please hold your applause until the group of guests have been introduced. Our Conroe ISD School District Board of Trustees. President, Mr. Skeeter Hubert. First Vice President, Mrs. Teresa Wagaman. Second Vice President, Mrs. Stacy Chase. Secretary, Mr. Datron Williams. Assistant Secretary, Mrs. Melissa Dungan. Trustee, Mrs. Tiffany Nelson. Trustee, Mrs. Misty Odenweller. Our next group of special guests are CISD administrators, Dr. Curtis Null, Superintendent, Dr. Shelley Winkler, Assistant Superintendent for Elementary Schools, Mrs. Lisa Garrison, Director of Elementary Schools, Mrs. Tara Vandermark, Director of Elementary Schools, Dr. Jeff Stickler, Assistant Superintendent for Middle Schools, Dr. Chris Povich, Assistant Superintendent for High Schools, Mrs. Karen Garza, Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Chris McCord, Assistant Superintendent of Operations. Mr. Easy Foster, Executive Director of Planning and Construction. Dr. Edith Sauceda Upshaw, Assistant Superintendent for Teaching and Learning. Mrs. Paula Green, Executive Director of Human Resources. Carrie Galatis, General Counsel. At this time, I would like to invite the Bartlett Honor Choir to perform America My Home, Thankful for the USA, and 50 Stars.
Standing in for Board President Skeeter Hubert is the Board of Trustees, Vice President Mrs. Teresa Wagaman. Please join me in welcoming her to the stage. Thank you so very much. And let's give another round of applause to our wonderful students and that toe-tapping performance. I will definitely be humming on the way home. This is such a special night for Conroe ISD. Anytime a school is opened, there is cause for great celebration. Not only do we get to honor our most worthy namesake, but we also celebrate the foraging of a new school, community, and family. I'd like to echo the thanks to our students extended by Mrs. Smith and your reaction to all of our children because we're gonna keep this party going all year long. Our planning and construction department, Durotech Construction, and our Cadis Architects, along with the efforts of so many district personnel, have put this beautiful school together for you, for your students. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, we are so excited for all of the great things our students, teachers, and staff will accomplish at this campus. Parents, community members, special guests, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for being here for the opening of Bartlett. Thank you for celebrating Mrs. Bartlett. And thank you for being part of Conroe ISD. At this time, I'd now like to invite Dr. Curtis Knoll, our wonderful and amazing superintendent, to the podium to offer a few remarks. Well, you knew I was gonna say it. You're awesome. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, good evening, Conroe. I think we're all here tonight. That's awesome. Where, where else would you rather be than right here tonight as we celebrate the dedication of Janet Bartlett Elementary School? What a special time this is. There are so many good people in this room, and it's, uh, it is a pleasure to see you all. So many faces that uh, we don't get to see every day, and we're just thankful that you have uh, chosen to be here today to celebrate with us. You know, the, the kids' performance was amazing. It was wonderful. What you all couldn't see from your seat that Janet and I could watch from our seats was the work of Mr. Saldana, the, the instructor. And to see the passion in his face as he led those kids and the love that he had. Because let's remember, we've only been in school about 11 weeks, right? And, and here we are with a choir performance in front of eight or 900 people uh, with elementary students, and they did an amazing job but to watch the joy in his face reminds me of what tonight is really about. Tonight's a celebration of teachers and educators because we are so thankful that our board has chosen to name this school after not only a very special person and not only somebody that has been in Conroe for her entire life, but someone that is a teacher. And for all of us teachers, that's special. It means the world to us to see a teacher's name on a building. So I just want to say thank you to our board for that. And let's give them a hand for making that commitment. You know, we, we can build a building as Mr. Foster and, and our great architect and, and construction team did, and we can build this beautiful building, but it does not become a school until you put people in it and the heart shows up. And truly the heart of any school is the teachers and the staff. And so we, we've had a chance to meet Ms. Sherita Smith, our principal tonight, but I know that we have more staff members here tonight. So if you are a staff member in this building, would you please stand so that we can recognize you? Thank you all. I know at some point somebody said, well, it'll, it'll be such a great idea to go open a new school because it's wonderful to have this beautiful building. And then you find out that you're responsible for moving all the stuff in and 
you know what? There are just days that the air conditioner just doesn't work. And there's all the things that come, but what a wonderful staff we have that has made it happen. You know, anytime we have a school dedication in Conroe ISD, we're, we're blessed to have many of our school namesakes in attendance. And anytime we have school namesakes in attendance, it's a special event. And I always want to take the opportunity to recognize them. And we have some school namesakes in the, in the building tonight. We have some relatives of school namesakes, and I want to just recognize all of them as well. Uh, first, we have Miss Carol Ann DeMeritt. Miss DeMeritt is the mother of David Vetter, and he is the namesake of David Elementary. Miss DeMeritt, thank you for being here. We also have with us Mr. Walter Jett, the namesake of our Jett Center here in Connor ISD. Mr. Jett, there he is. Also, Mr. Charlie Patterson, namesake of Patterson Elementary. Dr. Chris Hines, namesake of Hines Elementary. We have with us Miss Patty Bosman, the daughter-in-law of Miss Ori Bosman of Bosman Intermediate. Miss Patty. We also have Miss Janie Metter, the daughter of Mr. Emmett Hauser of Hauser Elementary School. And Donnie and Denny Buckaloo, sons of Mr. Don Buckaloo of Buckaloo Elementary, of Mr. Buckaloo. We thank you all for being here and celebrating with us tonight. We also have another special guest with us this evening uh, who has a presentation to make. Please welcome to the stage State Representative and Conroe Tiger, Will Metcalf. Well, thank you, Dr. Nolan. Anything I say, don't hold Kara Solly responsible. So she gets a pass. But no, thank you all for being here tonight. It's such a wonderful evening to see everybody here in the choir. GROTC did an outstanding job. And, you know, I came and read a book or read some books the other day here. And whenever Miss Solly asked that I read some books to some classrooms, I said, I will read books, but as long as they're not Dr. Seuss books. Those are hard to read. But anyways, no, it was great to be here. And Janet was here. And uh, Janet, you've touched my life in more ways than one. You've touched my family's life in more ways than one. And uh, you've touched many of the people here today. In fact, I see former students of yours, former teachers that taught with you at elementary schools that you were with. And Garrett Stanfield brought his yearbook from Gee Singer Elementary tonight. And so, but no, uh, in all seriousness, thank you for your leadership and everything you've done. And I just want us to remember Randy tonight as well. He was your biggest cheerleader and he'd be so proud of this evening. And so we love him. We miss him. We love you and your family. But I had the honor and privilege to fly a Texas flag over the state capitol, if I can get it out of here, on the day that uh, this school was open for the first day uh, that kids uh, grace the presence of this beautiful campus. And so I was honored and privileged to do this in your honor. And I have a certificate here that says, uh, in honor of the opening of Janet K. Bartlett Elementary School on the 14th day of August, 2024, this Texas flag was flown over your state capitol. I hope you enjoy this. We love you. Congratulations. Thank you, Will. We appreciate you. you know, as mentioned, it's a, it's a special night. And, and as Will mentioned, there's so many of you here. Uh, you mentioned teachers and, and former students, but I think there are also folks that are educators when you were a student here uh, in this room tonight. And so it's uh, so many generations of people that are here. And we do celebrate all teachers tonight but we celebrate one very special teacher. And 
Uh, I can still remember very clearly the first time that I had the opportunity to meet Miss Bartlett because our friend Patty Bosman brought her to Pete Junior High when I was the principal there. And I had the same feeling the first time that I met you, Miss Bartlett, as I do every time I meet you. I still feel like a second grade child talking to their teacher that just makes the world feel right. And every time I visit with you, that's how I feel. And you just, you spread joy and kindness throughout the whole world. And to stand with you on the first day of school here to watch you greet students and see that it doesn't matter if it was 1980 or 2024, it's the same feeling for children when they meet you. Um, it's just a beautiful thing. And, and we could not be more proud as a school district to have this, this school named in your honor and with such a wonderful family too. And I, and I don't think we, we wanna miss that point to have generations of your family working in the district and attending school now uh, at the grandchildren. Uh, it's very, very special for us. And, and I just want you to know that for all of us in Conroe ISD, that are current staff members. One of the things that I greatly appreciate that our board uh, chooses to put names on buildings of people that we can still interact with. Because for us as teachers, every day that, that, that I get the opportunity to walk into this building and all these wonderful people back here, when we see your name in this building, we aspire to be the type of educator that you were, to make everyone better every day and to make everyone feel welcome. And so thank you for being that example. Our part to live up to it. So thank you. I'm going to invite you now to, uh, to the video screen here as we have a little tribute uh, to our namesake.
Well, please join me in welcoming to the stage a woman that has been special to Conroe and Conroe ISD since she was a kindergartner, Miss Janet K. Bartlett. Well, that was a blast from the past. <laughs> I loved every year that you saw. This is such an unbelievable moment in my life. <clears throat> Thank you to everyone for being here and making the effort. On a Thursday night, it's not what you want to do is to come and listen to someone speak, but I have a passion and I want to share it with you. I never would have imagined as a young girl on Wager Street teaching my tattered stuffed animals that I'd be standing behind this podium tonight. To the Board of Trustees, Dr. Knoll, my family and friends, Mrs. Smith, and the Bartlett Bobcat community, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart for this tremendous honor. My parents, Earl and Melba Chestnut, moved me and my two sisters to Conroe in 1955. I was two years old. At that time, Conroe was known for its booming oil fields and timber. And that's not far from where this school is right now. In 1958, I began kindergarten at Hewlin N. Anderson Elementary School where Albert Moorhead was the principal. It was there that my love of teaching began, and I knew at the age of six, as I sat in Miss Martha Jones' kindergarten class, that I wanted to become a teacher just like her. I continued at Anderson until fourth grade and promoted to fifth and sixth grade at Davy Crockett Intermediate, which was located next to Anderson. In remembering my early years and days of my education, I always remembered that your teacher at that time may have served in several duties, serving as your teacher during the day, but also driving your bus in the morning or in the afternoon. It was true during those early years, I met some of my lifelong friends and some who are with us this evening. I treasure these early memories. My junior high years were spent at Travis Junior High, and then I made it to Conroe High School where I graduated in 1971. Don't do the math. <laughs> at that time, Conroe High School was still a new high school at the location it sits today. I'm so proud to be a Conroe Tiger still. After graduation from high school, I attended Sam Houston State University, where I received my Bachelor of Arts in teaching and, alas, fulfilled my dream of becoming a teacher. During my last semester in college, I was assigned to Runyon Elementary to do my student teaching. I will always be grateful to Keith Kamen who gave me my first job, who was principal at Runyon Elementary at that time. I will forever be indebted to him making my dream come true. I taught at several other CISD schools from the 70s to the late 80s. From Runyon, I moved to San Jacinto, a brand new school on 1314. And then I returned to Anderson Elementary. Only fate would have it that I taught first grade in the same first grade classroom that I once sat in. Over those years, Conroe continued to grow and new schools were being built. It was in 1990, Giesinger Elementary opened and I was asked by the then principal, Bonnie Wilkinson, to join the staff and open Giesinger. Not only did I teach there, but the school would become my own children's home away from home. It was then that my kids learned the value of a teacher and the work that it took. They could often be found helping after school in the classrooms, helping the custodials, and one even joined the faculty meeting one day. 
He joined it because he had to tell me that he had accidentally broken the window outside the building. I bet you know who that is. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> Throughout my career, I taught my nephew, Dustin Morton, my son, Cody, my now son-in-law, Andrew Kiner, and I taught students that would go on to become all kinds of things, engineers, medical professionals, lawyers, oil and gas industry professionals, and everything in between. And of course, I'm proud to say that I taught many children who became teachers. But most of all, I hope more than any career that I taught my students to be good people. Retirement came in 2006, but even though I would retire, I wouldn't be able to stay away. Almost immediately, I returned in the capacity of a substitute and spent the last 18 years working alongside the next generation of teachers. I filled many long-term sub-roles sub around the dist district, but primarily at Giesinger. It was only last year where I finally hung up my badge. And I'm sad. <laughs> that the friendships and relationships remain. As the school song at Giesinger says, Giesinger is a place that we hold dear and we will always cherish the time that we spent there. There are no truer words. We were a family and we were led by some of the most wonderful principals, including Bonnie Wilkinson, Doris Phelps, Jean Stewart, Jenny Watson, Paulette Berry, and Jackie Hazy, to name a few and many more that followed. My time of both learning and teaching continued in those later years, subbing under excellent administrators, excellent leadership, such as Becky Page, Melissa Ralston, Amy Barber, and Victor Ure. The legacy of great administ administrators in CISD is a long list, and that same excellence can be found all across CISD. While it is a great honor to have my name on this beautiful building, I cannot stand here without recognizing the many people who influenced and taught me how to be the best teacher. First of all, I want to applaud each of the superintendents and administrators for their dedication and expertise in providing teachers and staff in schools with the training and knowledge and skills necessary to support students' success. CISD is known for its commitment to excellence and it starts at the top. Now to my fellow teachers. It is said, and I truly believe, teachers are the unsung heroes of our society who play a crucial role in shaping the minds and hearts of the future. Their unwavering passion and commitment to education make a lasting impact far beyond the classroom. Teachers are role models, encouragers, mentors, friends, and champions for kids, and sometimes a piggy bank. The list goes on and on. I was fortunate enough to teach alongside the best of the best. To the teachers I had the privilege of working with, I will forever be grateful for your friendship, for your knowledge, for sharing, for caring, for crying, for laughing, and for being my school family. I admired you all. You were instrumental in helping me become a better teacher. As I said, we were a family and we worked tirelessly creating, creating just the right lessons gathering resources, having discussions, but always we found joy in what we did. I'll say it again, you were and are the best of the best, and I'm so thankful for those years. This, not, this honor is not just mine to celebrate. This honor belongs to all teachers, all teachers who have given so much to educating our children. 
My prayer is that every teacher's hard work and dedication to this profession will be remembered and be a legacy of this school. And to the parents, parents, we all have been given the greatest gift, our children. As parents, we are our child's first teacher. There is no better investment and responsibility than to make sure our children have the best possible education in future. We must be present, involved, and supportive. Nothing pleases a teacher more than an involved and invested parent. When parents and teachers work together, it is a great recipe for success. Throughout my career, I was fortunate to have some wonderful parent relationships. Parents who encouraged, supported, and realized how important the connection is between home and school. And for that, I am so grateful. To the Bobcat students, aren't they wonderful? The choir, oh, that was so great. To the Bobcat students and every student, I watched this school being built over all the months, including part of the planning and architecture and the process of the, of the actual construction of this magnificent building. It wasn't until I was invited to tour the building that I saw what an amazing place of learning this is. Ms. Smith included me along with the faculty and staff to unpack curriculum, sit in a staff meeting, planning. I knew then watching her work with her faculty that there were great things ahead for Bartlett. There are amazing teachers here and staff, and this building is what gives the school a heart, the teachers. As I stood watching at the front door of Bartlett Elementary on the first day of school, I looked up and saw the bright eyes and the innocent faces of the children who came in this beautiful school and that heart that the teachers had and created began to beat with the entrance of the children. Students, parents, teachers, and community, cherish your time here. Dive in, discover and explore and enjoy these elementary years. Students, each day that passes, your book is being written. Your each day is a new page waiting for your story. May Bartlett Elementary be a place where your dreams take flight. Dream big. Mine came true and yours can too. Lastly, to the teachers of today and teachers everywhere, I'm so proud of you for stepping into the classroom Teaching is a profession to be proud of. It's noble and it's worthwhile. It's the profession that teaches every other profession. And as we all know, it can be difficult at times. The work seems overwhelming. The students can be challenging. Life can be hard. But you are seen and you are valued. Never lose focus on your calling. There is nothing that prepares you for teaching. Experience is the best teacher. And you can get that by opening your mind to all learning situ situations and opening your heart to every child. All children can learn and need a teacher such as yourself. I know as teachers that we can feel at times a bit like the old tattered stuff animals I used to teach in my bedroom. A little worn, not always upright, but after a few minor adjustments, good as new. Children are our future, and each of you have the aw awesome responsibility to inspire and make a difference in the life of a child. 
Being a teacher was a gift from God for me with rewards and experiences so numerous that they can only be measured in memories. And teaching gave me a fulfillment that can only be measured with the heart. I'm so proud of my profession and in saying that I am a teacher and I'm proud of each of you today. For the past 70 years, Conroe ISD has been a part of my life and my family. The friendships of the administration, the principals, the teachers and support staff, the students, the parents that filled my classrooms are all important and on my heart. In closing, I must thank God for my loving family who have loved, encouraged, and supported me. My husband, Randy. Who cherished and supported my profession. I know you're smiling tonight. To my own children and grandchildren, you know you're the light of my life. To my sisters, Cheryl and Teresa, both of who were in education in this district, I love you and I thank you for supporting me and all your help. And to the best parents in the world, Earl and Melba Chestnut, they had the foresight to bring their family to Conroe for a better life. I have been immensely blessed throughout my life and a constant has been a teacher. My eyes may now be weary and my body not as strong, but I will always sing with joy because I made a difference in the life of a child. Thank you again for this great honor and I share it with you. Thank you. At this time, Mr. Hubert and Dr. Knoll will unveil the portrait of our namesake that will hang in the front of our school. Thank you all so much. My family, my mom is here in attendance tonight, my daughter, my Aunt Cheryl, they were able to make it out tonight. Thank you for your continued love and support and all of my CISD principals are here tonight. Thank y'all so much. Um, I also wanna thank my amazing students and their super supportive families. Thank you so much, because we cannot do this without your help and your support. Thank you so much. To the Bartlett family who are always so kind, gracious, and thoughtful, just a wonderful family, all of them. <laughs> we look forward to celebrating many events this year and for the years beyond, and we look forward to uh, inviting you all in to the building anytime. To, to the amazing Bartlett staff, we are creating something truly special here, and I thank you for partnering with me to create not only a positive school culture, but a culture of academic excellence. Thank you everyone tonight for packing out this place. We love Miss Bartlett and it shows that you all love her too. Thank you for helping us celebrate her tonight and our beautiful new school. Thank you so much and I'm wishing everyone safe travels home. <laughs>